Another week, another night under the Friday night lights. 25 Sports reporter Jack Allen is live tonight at a Central Texas showdown with a lot on the line, Jack. Well, the last time that Crawford and Bosqueville squared off was for a district championship a little bit more than a month ago. In that game, Crawford eked out a close win against Bosqueville 27 to 20. Tonight, the two squared off again, this time with a regional championship in a spot in the state semis on the line. Bosqueville still looking for that e elusive first victory over Crawford in school history on the first drive of the game, though. Crawford would put their foot on the gas. Breck Chambers hurdles the Bulldog defender and races away for the 35 yard touchdown run to get Give the Pirates the early lead and things would just unravel for the Bulldogs from there. Bosqueville would try a fake punt. The punter tries to bail on it at the last minute. He fumbles and gives the Pirates a short field. Later, Tanner Miranda and the Pirates would take advantage of that mistake. Miranda, nine yard pass to Trey Doby, 14 nothing Pirates and it would only get worse from there as Crawford steamrolls Bosqueville, keeps that streak alive, and earns their place in the state semifinals. Uh, I think it uh, left a bad taste in their mouth uh, you know, the first time we played them because we didn't play very well, and they, uh, they realized that they're much better uh, mm -hmm. than what we expected back then. They're much better now, and so we really had to focus in on, on uh, you know, performing well and executing, and I thought they did a great job tonight. Down the road, Franklin struggled with the turnover bug tonight. They had first half, four first half turnovers, including this fumble, which gave Buffalo life. The Bison playing in their first ever regional final. Brett Hoffman was slinging again. He had two first half touchdown passes to tie the game at 14 points apiece. Hoffman, you'll remember, torched Rodgers in the regional semifinals to make it into this one. But just before the half, Franklin Seth Spiller gets the misdirection handoff. He finds a hole and he was gone. Franklin led 21 to 14 at the break, but the Lions would pull away in the second half to advance to the state semifinals as well. Be sure to tune in to GMT tomorrow morning for more post game reaction from Crawford's big win tonight as the Pirates go back to the state semifinals for the first time since 2016. Reporting in Waco, Jack Allen, 25 Sports.